I've seen on many blogs in the news Marie Kondo's purging kind of concept and a lot of people enjoying it and doing it. So I just want to give my own shout out as a mom of 10 kids that yes, purging is great and very necessary. Um, I didn't realize when I first became a mom how blessed I would be with children and how much stuff they come with from just the basic baby with the bath and the diapers and the clothing and the toys and then eventually they grow bigger and they have more toys and more clothing and more blankets and pillows and stuffed animals. So purging is actually a part of my life constantly. My husband uh, always teases me because we'll have an 18 month old and um, they'll grow into the two year old and then they won't play with those toys anymore and I always purge them. I get rid of those toys. And then we'll get pregnant, give birth, have another kid. And when they turn 18, I'm always asking, where did those toys go? And he goes, you threw them out, remember? So I'm trying to learn a balance of my hyper purging modes to a good healthy level. And so we do encourage that in our home. The kids go through their things. They learn how to throw away their trash and to keep what is meaningful for them. So a little tip for you guys today. All my kids have what's called a secret box. They have a tote in which that helps them keep their possessions with a boundary. So if it doesn't fit in the tote, they need to either get rid of things in their tote and so they have room for their new things to go in or they need to get rid of what they're trying to put in the tote. So it's a nice boundary for kids to learn how to purge and how to keep their things neat. And the hope is, we'll see if it works, but the hope is that when my kids get bigger, that they will naturally have that ability to purge and keep their things down to a manageable level. That means not having too many pairs of shoes and too many outfits and too many stuffed animals and too many toys and all those kind of things. It also reminds me what my mom used to say is, what you own owns you. And I've thought about that many times when I have too much stuff. It wears on my soul. It wears my brain. It makes me feel uncomfortable and I keep hearing that nagging voice says, you need to clean that. You need to purge it. You need to get rid of that. And so keeping it as part of my habits that I'm constantly trying to clean out and purge and empty and neatify their rooms also does help to have a better mental space and better emotional space makes me feel happy when my home is neat. Not perfect in any ways, but at least neat so that they don't have stuff filling out of all the closets and stuff under their beds and stuff in the hallway and stuff in the bathroom, etc. So purging is one of the skills I didn't know would be necessary as a mother, but it is and it's very essential to try to take that time and even maybe adopt the old tradition of our grandparents, which was every spring when they do deep cleaning, they also try to get rid of things that are broken or things they no longer use. So think about that. Try to spend this spring thinking about what you don't need or what you don't use and maybe somebody else could enjoy it. So and have fun. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So glad that you're here today. Hope you enjoyed the video. There are lots of other videos you can watch on all kinds of different topics. We hope you check it out. And if you're interested in learning more, please visit our website at blissfulbirthingtennessee.com. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye.